Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I wanted to post my reactions to watching After We Fell because it is finally available on digital in the United States. And I also wanted to do a little review and my thoughts on the movie. If you read the books, it's everything that we know from the book. So let's get into it. It is Friday, October 22nd. 9 30 p.m and i'm going to finally watch after we fell on digital i have my water right there i have some snacks i love reese's peanut butter cups my favorite candy and then i'm also gonna light some candles and just get in the movie mood okay so this is the candle i will be lighting it is a birthday candle you get these candles based on your birthday so i'm born march 16th and each one has like a special scent and if you guys are interested you can use my code jazzle10 to get 10% off. I do get a little commission if you use that or if you use my link. Oh my gosh. I am literally so excited for this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally don't know how long I've been waiting for this. I'm so, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I remember this from the book. There's these towels in the bathroom if you want to take a shower. Um, I missed Hero and Joe so much. <laughs> they look so good. Oh my god. We love Protective Harden. My heart. I remember when these behind the scenes photos first leaked or were first posted. Everyone was freaking out when these things were posted. So far, I think this movie is extremely fast paced. Starts off with her dad eating and then all of a sudden they're at college talking about her moving to Seattle. Really fast paced. So we'll see. They're already talking about the lake house. I'm like five minutes into the movie. Interesting. They look so good here. Except they could fix Hero's hair a little bit. Like instead of it being so combed, it could be like messy and long. I don't know. There's already fighting. I'm sorry, who is this? What are you doing here? <laughs> what the hell did you do? The bartender called me. Oh, come on. It wasn't a big deal. Look, you're fine. <laughs> I'm drunk. Hero? Hero looks so good. Not the ice cube. Not the flashbacks. Oh my gosh. Stop, this is literally so cute. Feels like it was just yesterday. Oh, seeing the new Vance and Kimberly is weird. I really don't like how they got like a brand new cast for everyone. I just feel like it's so weird. It makes the movies feel, I don't know, but it's making me itchy. I don't like it. I'm like confused as to how fast paced this is because I'm like almost 30 minutes in and we're already meeting Lillian and Robert. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. Me before the hot tub scene. I love Hessa so much. Oh my gosh. He's, he's out with Lillian? I forgot how annoying AWF Harden is. He didn't even let her finish answering the question. This is so annoying. Wait, the dancing scene is actually really good. 
bye so after a certain point i kind of stopped filming my reactions just because this movie just didn't do it for me they focused on really big plot points in the book which i'm thankful for but i just felt like they did a plot and then another plot and another plot not connecting anything so when watching it was just super confusing the movie just felt extremely fast-paced to me in between each scene we were missing a lot of the in-between we had one scene and then took a big jump to the next scene the movie just wasn't cohesive at all i love hero and joe so much i think they did a great job all of the scenes just like the scenes were good individually but like all together as a movie i felt like it didn't make sense i feel like it is not going to make sense for someone who hasn't read the book because there are huge plot lines that they mentioned five minutes into the movie we're already at the cabin which felt super fast to me and then all of a sudden we're seeing robert and lillian and it was just all happening so fast especially seeing like the new cast it was kind of confusing even for someone who has read the books and who has watched all of the movies i also remember and after we fell Hardin and tessa were broken up and she moved to seattle he would visit her but they were still broken up and then they got back together obviously but in the movies like i couldn't tell if they were broken up or if they were together it was kind of just them arguing all the time i was just honestly so confused another thing too was i feel like a major plot point in after we fell was tessa finding out that she could possibly um not have babies and i feel like they showed that scene and then never mentioned it again i feel like they did that with a lot of other scenes i feel like they really teased robert so i thought he was going to have a much bigger role in the movie but he was there for like 30 seconds and then never really brought up again it just wasn't doing it for me i felt like the movie wasn't cohesive it was very spotty the scenes didn't connect or make sense or relate to each other that's just my opinion i know a lot of people really enjoyed this movie and really liked how there were a lot of book content in there which i do appreciate i just feel like as a movie itself it just wasn't enjoyable to watch but i do love hero and joe so much they looked so good in the movie loved some of the hessa moments that we got so i just feel eh on the movie right now 100 percent books over the movie for sure i just wish that the movies did the book justice because i really enjoyed the series it's one of my all-time favorite series and i know it gets so much crap online but i honestly really really loved it and i think it had so so much potential it wasn't executed to the best of its ability this movie wasn't it for me but if you enjoyed it i'm very happy you did i wish i liked it as much as i've seen other people like it if you guys watched the movie i would love to chat about your thoughts on the movie in the comments i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did i would hope that you would give it a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video